all right welcome back to the channel today we're going to be looking at some fans um the reason for this is if you've watched the last video you'll have seen the uh tri gem and we got it back up and running but the cpu fan was really loud um so that's this fan and today i'm going to go through what i do to um make them quiet again and it's just a case of going in there taking the fan apart and uh lubricating uh the bearing the thing that you know actually rotates uh, to try and quiet that down so i've got two fans i'm gonna show it on um got this little acasa heatsink fan and the one out of the tri gem so all i usually do with fans in noisy systems is i'll completely clean the flat the fan um and that means cleaning all the blades and then It doesn't actually, this one doesn't actually make any noise if you just rotate it with your fingers, but you can feel there's, there's a little bit of resistance. Um, so once you've cleaned the fan, you want to try and peel back the sticker on the back. Because underneath the, and the, you can't do this to every fan, it depends how they've been manufactured. A lot of fans you can do this to though. If you take away the sticker on the back, there we go. It looks like we should be able to do it to this one so on there you can see we've got the the central um spindle you might call it and it should have a little sort of plastic ring which is like a little clip to keep it in the hole and what you want to do is try and remove that clip and that should let you push out the the actual fan blade assembly out this side and then we can get to the inner workings. So I'll just see about doing that. Can be fiddly, obviously this is quite the small fan. I can see it moving. There it is. Now, be careful, you don't want it pinging off because you need to put it back on. I mean, you don't need to put it back on, but if for instance, there we go. If for instance, the the fan was running this way up, if you didn't have that clip, it might spin out and then end up just dropping out of the, the actual fan. But if it's, if it's aimed down like this one is, then it shouldn't be too bad, so. I can tell that's that's quite a greasy um, retaining clip there, so it definitely had grease in there at some point, and you can see it along that spindle a little bit, but um, it needs cleaning out. Obviously, the system's probably not been touched for twenty odd years. And there we go. I just give it a push. The blade, the blades will come off themselves like that. There we go. We have the inner workings of the fan. Just two pole, I believe. Yeah, interesting. So, I'll show you this bit first. We'll try and zoom in. So the um, the bearing actually sits in that hole in the middle, and then that cartridge there is the actual bearing cartridge. You should be able to see me rotating that. Now, there's here's what I do. So you can pull that off, and. What I'll do is I'll get a cloth and clean that up. Just do that off camera. I'm just using a microfiber cloth, giving the uh, spindle a clean, and I'll also clean the blades at this point. Give them all the wipe over, get rid of all that old dust. Now 
and I'll skip this step on the next one. Um, as that fan doesn't actually make any noise. Um, but just to prove the theory, I haven't actually looked at that. I haven't had the sticker off the bottom or anything, so we'll see what a different fan looks like. Oh, I've dropped it. Okay, so that's that all sort of wiped down, cleaned up. Any sort of build up of all the grease and stuff will be gone. Now here's the little bearing. And we can give that a wipe over, um, but I'll show you what we're gonna lubricate it with. Now it's not the proper lubricant or anything, but if you're at home, you haven't got any um, any types of different oils or something like that, just use what you've got. That's what I've found. And in fact, in the past, I've just used um, moisturizer, um, just a little bit of skin cream um, has, has sorted it out. And the, the fans that have done that too still don't have an issue to this day. So every little helps, I guess. <laughs> so I've wiped that down. What I'm going to do is, because that one's a, a cartridge type, usually it might just be, um, that might actually have ball bearings inside. Not a lot of them do. It'll just be like, um, well, we call it like a rifle bearing. It's not ball bearings inside. It's just a, like a, a sleeve rifle bearing. So what I'm going to do is I've got this um, bicycle chain lubricant, which I use. Uh, on fans sometimes and we'll just give that a drip in the I'll zoom you in again and that that should do it basically so what we'll do now is put that back on the um, spindle here now you only really need a drop we can put another drop on there if we wanted to uh, just make sure the the magnet magnets are clean I'll just go in for another drop you can see that's quite a lot there so Sometimes I'll let it settle, I'll just leave it to uh, chill out for a bit. Uh, but we'll put this one back together straight away. Just take, absorb the excess off the... Right now, we'll get the rest of the fan. And it's probably best if we use like a little uh, cotton bud thing, so... to get in the hole as you can see it's quite dirty in there put some cleaner on the end and I might just go around the edge of here and see cleaning the inside of the fan. There we go, give it a dry. Okay, so now that's done, I'll just go ahead and slap that back on. And you'll feel it like um, magne magnetically attach. So once that's back on now, you can put your little retaining clip on. And this is pretty much the hardest part.
It's not so bad if you've got a bigger fan, but it can be quite difficult. Okay, I think that's on. And then all to do is, you should have kept the sticker, hopefully it's still sticky. And we'll wipe down the face again, just to make sure that it's going to stick okay. Put the sticker back on just to stop the um, any of the lubricant getting out. It's not going to be as, as good as... When it was new but it's a bit of something so now that's done and no word of a lie that already feels a lot smoother and it should get better as the um, lubricant sort of makes its way around all the bearings but straight away that's that feels a lot smoother in the hand so it should be a lot quieter when it's running so on to the next one Like I said, uh, a lot of them can be taken apart just like that, but some of them are sort of sealed or they might be like plastic bonded into place or like um, you can't get to the spindle from the other side of the, the sort of exterior of the fan, the uh, this one's minging. Um, but yeah, if we try and peel this one back, See in there, we've got the uh, oh, yeah, you can see there we've got the little plastic retaining um, clip washer thing. And if I move that fan blade up and down, you can see it hitting. Let's try and whip that off. Okay, that's that off, and then just push the fan out the other side. That's the spindle thing, and this is a four-pole uh, fan, and you can see there that the bearing is actually inside that hole. So I just give the uh, the top a little bit of a wipe down. I'll give it a few, a drip or two of uh, you can see that seeping in now. And I'll set that aside whilst I clean this up. It's much easier to clean the actual blades of the fans with the, the blade assembly out. spindler clean and the uh, the magnet inside because this can accumulate dust it's not sealed in there so now that's clean and the dust on the blades is stubborn so I want to leave that just for this video I'll give this another drop and slot the fan back in A few spins, flip it over, ah oh, bugger, you could always use a bit of tape to hold that back in, get our little retaining clip.
patch that back on. And that's it. All back together. So it's a quick job. Obviously this video is 15 minutes long, but it only takes me a couple of minutes to do that without showing. Um, but you know, if you're stuck at home, you need a fan or well, you think you need a fan and you can just do this, you know, with a bit of hand cream or some lubricant or something that you have around the house, then it costs you nothing but a bit of time. Um, you can always put like an octua in there or something, but having the original fan working as it should, shouldn't actually be that loud. So I hope this has been useful. Um, obviously I don't think any, everyone does this, but a lot of people already do. So, you know, those people that already do this good stuff. Um, but those who, who didn't even think about it, you know, that's what this video is for. So thanks for watching.